Good morning, traders, and welcome to the Bookmap Live Trading Webinar. This is the Bookmap Advanced Webinar, um, or Advanced Education, and today we have live trading with JTrader, a uh, stock trader, uh, every Wednesday, 10 a.m. Eastern. Um, he's a professional. Uh, he's going to uh, go through live analysis and live trading. He's going to take some positions here. Uh, it is in demo. I mean, we'll, we'll cover that, but uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> it's not a... Um, uh, a trading room in the sense that uh, uh, you, we, we do not uh, 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 condone shadowing the trader, all right? Uh, instead, uh, learn uh, from the trader. Uh, lo look at how he's um, uh, reading the market, how he's using book map, how he reads the order flow within his own proprietary strategies, and then how he manages his trade here. Uh, this is where you're really going to learn a lot. You're going to be able to put together that information along with the daily advanced webinars we have, as well as the educational course. Okay, so we really think we have a, a, a very powerful and strong uh, educational offering for you guys uh, as Global Plus traders. Um, all right, uh, or subscribers. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning David from Chicago. Uh, yeah, it's warming up over here in New York, uh, but. Uh, uh, imagine it's still pretty cold over there. I don't know. Uh, good morning, Doug. Um, and uh, yeah, and Alan. Good morning. Oh yeah, GameStop. Okay, we'll um, uh, <laughs> we'll have to take a look at that. Um, I'm I'll, I'll let um, you know. I'll let Jay uh, Joseph uh, deal with that one. Okay. So uh, good morning, David. Um, David David S. Um, all right. Well, let's uh, let's jump in and uh, go through some disclosures. When uh, Joseph comes in, uh, you know, he he comes in a little bit later because uh, he's just finishing up his room, uh, and then uh, and then he'll be in uh, probably in about uh, ten minutes or so. All right. Okay. So uh, let's go through. You know who Joseph is here. We don't have to go through the uh, biography. I'll put the contact information in the chat though for you guys, uh, so that uh, if you have questions to him, you want to follow him, or you want his education, you can reach out to him, all right? He offers a pretty, um, uh, you know, broad and uh, a detailed uh, education there for his traders, and very nice community as well. All right, let's go through the disclosures. The general disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Live trading is in simulation demo paper trading mode and strictly for educational purposes. Live trading executed in simulation cannot accurately represent realistic trading performance. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. An investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security nor lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, so as we wait for uh, Joseph, um, we're gonna jump over here and we're gonna take a look at the uh, S&P E-mini and see what's going on. All right, you can see the uh, uh, interesting stuff, actually some kind of stuff I wanna cover. Uh, with you guys we've been looking at this um since monday all right and uh i want to we've been reading it very nicely today uh uh that read has failed uh but i'm very curious to see what's going to happen here because look at the absorption here on the way down here okay on this higher time frame also we're below this uh 3800 okay uh spx level here for spot gamma uh and uh, are we going to accept lower and continue lower well here's the pullback right here we're probably going to get our answer uh, somewhere around here, right? Uh, maybe back up to 95, maybe back up to the point of control here. Maybe even it kind of does a false breakout above here uh, and then rolls over and then down, further to the downside. All right, so let's just uh, take a step back here. Uh, and then we know that there's massive absorption here, okay? That's fact, uh, but this is different here. Look at our, our icebergs and stops going together here. Um, you know, Scott, um, I don't think Scott has a, um, uh, a setup on this, but uh, this is something that that we have noticed in 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 the uh, uh, in the webinars uh, for for quite a while actually. Uh, they, these can lead to very powerful moves. We have stops being triggered as well as icebergs going in the same direction. Okay, so stop people getting stopped out on the way down, but these guys are relentless on the pullbacks. They're getting involved in here. Okay, so uh, uh, you know they're they're short. 
All right, and uh, as pretty significant uh, icebergs, as you can see, uh, we went from, uh, oh, this is the zero, almost the zero line, no, negative 600 uh, down to uh, 48. Um, hundred. All right. So we're looking at 4,200 iceberg orders. Okay. In this area here, short. All right. Let's take a look at this level here. Cause we're at, we're just below the figure 3,800. All right. Cause this is going to be really a big battle. Um, and, uh, let's just mark it up here. Okay. Right here around this 3,800, let's just call it 3,895 for now. Here's why. Okay. Go back to presentation. Uh, and uh, let's take a look at our levels here. Okay, this is an hour chart, and this was that big dump that we saw on Monday. Okay, and we just we we kept on looking and thinking, wow, this is a, this is a powerful move, but um, you know we should be getting a pullback here, a pretty powerful pullback, All right? And then we just noted, well, they're 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 absorbing. You know, we know that they're absorbing on the bid, so we're looking for it. Um, the structure and analyzing that structure kept us out of going long in some of those areas. This is a really key thing, okay? In fact, continue to go short uh, uh, until you see something different, right? And, and that structure changes. And then we noted it down here during the webinar, okay? And we were looking for just some smaller moves back up to this uh, like 05 and 15 area here, but noted that, look, these kinds of moves can come right back up to, you know, where it came from, plus these can move to multi-day highs. Okay, so I was very curious to see what happened up here uh, yesterday, uh, and you can see it failed, right? And I was thinking, well, okay, well, maybe they'll come down to this area here, uh, and maybe we'll get a bounce out of that, or maybe we'll get some sort of double bottom pattern down here. This is what I'm talking about here, right? So we get, we, this is really the key area here. Uh, right, right around the, this, this, uh, the breakdown below here, around this 95 level, all right? So uh, maybe even lower, maybe 90, 91. Okay, so we're, we really want to understand the order flow around this area here, because if they come back up, we're going to come right back up into um, 15, uh, 23, uh, 36, and we might be able to get up into higher highs here. Okay, but what we saw on the way down here, massive absorption, massive buy iceberg orders. This is opposite here. Okay, so we're seeing massive sell iceberg orders down here. All right, so uh, let's let's key in and, and, and take a look here as we wait for Joseph, okay? So we're, we're coming back up. Uh, let's take a look at the volume within this area as well. Uh, we know that they're absorbing here, okay? In fact, let's turn on our absorption indicator. Okay, it is on. Wow, I have it at 400. Um, and it's giving us not, not bad readings. Um, selling, selling, they're starting to buy here, okay? All right, and... Uh, uh, structure breaks right here, okay, and you can see some more buying coming in. It's not the, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, you know, we, you, you could, uh, you could, you could take that maybe back up to here, maybe front run, and, and maybe into this area here. But they break above it, okay. So this is our pivot level, right? Uh, in fact, if Joseph comes in, we've been calling it pivots for years. Uh, Joseph calls it the under over, okay. And 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 uh, here, here you can see it uh, perfectly at 75. Okay, so we usually look for continuation and going short, okay? But it broke through, came back, retested the backside of it and back up to the upside, okay? Back up to our 90, well, we put the line in here around 94, all right? So uh, now we, we really need to watch this one closely because this is where the battle is gonna take place, right? And uh, right now it's just kind of leveling off um, and uh, I would say it's still still to the upside here. Uh, until we see something different, right? Uh, continue to squeeze to the upside. Okay, uh, I could come back up into this area here, 3,800, the figure as well. Um, and um, let's just go through some of the scenarios here. Okay. All right, well, we'd be looking for some, uh, lo the structure first, right? It's still making, well, equal highs here, okay? It just made a, a, a lower high, okay? But it did not make a lower low yet. They're still making higher lows here, okay? So we're just watching it uh, and, uh, and, you know, taking a look here and seeing uh, uh, who's uh, gonna, where the volume and the auction here might tilt this structure uh, and then we see a massive move or a change. Okay, that's what we're looking for.
Okay, and we're not seeing anything quite yet. We do see some nice absorption in here. This is pretty bearish, in fact. Like, uh, uh, look at this high liquidity in here at a lower level, but the buyers did take them on. Okay, so uh, we know that we can see it, uh, and uh, and they're trading back up here. Okay, failed to make a higher high here so far. All right. So uh, let's see if sellers come in here around 91 and drop it right back down into 90 and maybe 88 or so, okay? So looking to see if sellers come in now, back down to, mm, yeah, let's just call it 89 and a half, okay? And then maybe maybe even uh, 88 and a, and a quarter, 88 and a half, all right? So that's one scenario here. Uh, it's starting to fail as you guys can see, um, but um, we might get another leg here. Uh, we're also looking for the breakout. Okay, the other scenario. Now, it, the other scenario starts to get a little bit, um, uh, yeah, here's a little exhaustion maybe. Let's see if we get a maybe a push on the buy side. Anyway, nothing high probability right now. We're just watching this, uh, and uh, but going through the scenarios. Okay, another scenario is we get a breakout here, okay, and maybe it, it, it fails. Okay, so breakout, stop runs, et cetera, turns around, comes back in here, and then continuation to the downside. All right. So that's another scenario here. We're getting our second leg instead. As you guys can see, we're down to this 89. Uh, still looking to see if we can get down to this kind of 88 uh, level here. All right, again, what we look for is, and, and Doug uh, actually made a very nice uh, image on this. Uh, and in fact, Doug, uh, it's gonna be one of the setups. Um, so, uh, uh, that I'm working on that I'll have for you guys a, a bunch of setups here. I know I keep promising it, it will happen. Um, but understand the structure, okay? And then here, let's just go through it here, right? Um, understand the structure, okay? Just best bid and offer. Just understand what's going on here in the structure, okay? It just gives us insight to the players, okay? Just the structure alone. Like, you know, we know there's gonna be a lot of buying in here, no question. Right, it's 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 moving pretty quickly here, uh, and um, uh, then we want to understand in this area here. Okay, where's the buying? Where's the selling? This is this is what gives us the insight. Okay, here's our break to well even below 88 um, in a in a in a quarter, 88 and a half. Um, all right, we should probably get a little bit of a pop here uh, back to probably 90, but uh, we'll see. Um, just based on you know the structure here. All right now let's understand volume within that structure okay all right so this is why order flow wise we're still kind of looking for the the, the move higher here uh, just because there's more buying here but then we started to note well if they can't right in this little area they can't make a higher high okay um the volume is starting to look okay exhausted here that's not good right uh and then uh, uh, up in this area here well we got our little retest here and there's, there's exhaustion again, okay? And it cannot make a higher high, right? We're looking for volume on the sell side here to start pulling this back. And we noted it here, we got a little bit of a pullback and we're like, all right, you know, we're not quite sure yet, um, but we're, we're watching and waiting, okay? Um, and uh, we, well, we got our answer here. And volume wise, I don't really see anything too clear in here um to uh to help us on that the the better read was here once this kind of happened though it kind of convoluted it and it was just like well we're not we're not too sure it's it's not really high probability here um and um, then let's take a look at the uh the heat map okay and we can see that this is where we get the insight right well we already know here okay uh and and buyers were above it Okay, but here again, high liquidity and they trade into it absorbed here. Okay, cannot make a higher high. In fact, they even came in a little bit, uh, a little lower here. It was absorbed, okay. The heat map is giving us the insight here, okay. Higher, high liquidity here trades, okay. Then they start to lower that, uh, that liquidity, okay. Lower the offer here and we're not finding buyers take them on. They even lower it here again, okay. And we see, we, we found some sellers. All right, so uh, it starts to give us some pretty good insight. Now, now you can see here, this is where you you, you see pretty good good uh, uh, distinction. Okay, we're 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 noticing the the structure, we're noticing the volume in the structure and the heat map within that structure. It's giving us pretty good clues. Uh, here's where they really 
you know, pound it down. Okay, sellers, high liquidity here, they don't even test it. Okay, and they do it again and again uh, on the way down here. Okay, and look where it came back up and retested as well, just about where it dropped from here. Uh, so uh, some nice stuff there. Anyway, that's reading the context in here, okay? Reading the order flow within here. And uh, yeah, let's just even, I wanna even, I want to even show a candlestick example. Uh, and let's take all of this stuff back off. Now volume bars, it's fine, best bid and offer we don't want. And let's put a one minute candlestick chart on. Just trying to hammer this idea home, okay? So on the candlestick chart, right? You, you, you see wicks on both sides here, okay? Uh, and then, uh, yeah, you do see this kind of failed here. And then this isn't, you know, this is kind of part of that candlestick pattern. Uh, you, you kind of look for them to drop it down below here uh, and then the follow through to the downside. Not, not bad, not bad on that one minute chart. Uh, it's just that uh, you want the order flow to confirm this here. In the, in the candlestick. So this was at, uh, let's see, uh, 1014. All right, so let's take a look here. Okay, and let's take the candlestick, or let's put the volume dots in the heat map, best bid and offer back on. Okay, and then let's zoom into 1014. Yeah, I mean, this still could have failed here very easily, I, I think, very easily. Uh, you know, this is this is where you got the confirmation of that candlestick. But you got the confirmation of the candlestick chart right here, and the order flow is what's dictating it, right? Just what we covered, same idea right here, okay? This is where they dropped it. Right here, buyers could have taken it higher, right? And this candlestick chart would have failed. Right. So if you're if you like the candlesticks, I'm just trying to show you like some of the things to read within within that one minute to get understanding that this candlestick, uh, if if you have high, if you follow it, you have high probabilities on these candlestick charts. Um, you know, you've done your studies on it and you're looking for that follow through. The order flow supports the follow through. All right. OK, and, and use that same. Uh, good morning, Joseph. All right. Um, so uh, anyway, guys, just um, uh, if if you're trading candlesticks, or you're trading fibs, and 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 Joseph is uh, trading fibs, uh, he's matching it up here with the um, with the order flow. Uh, anyway, let me uh, turn it right over to Joseph and uh, and take it away. Good morning, traders. Good morning, everybody. So <clears throat> we'll start over. Oh, uh, Joseph, right off the bat, uh, Alan and others, uh, they they really want to look at uh, GameStop. <laughs> yeah, so. I was on this all morning with not only GME, but we were on GME, AMC, and EXPR. So, okay, put them both over here. It will do like this. So we'll we'll follow both stocks. This morning, traders, I saw something that in the last 20 years that I trade, I never saw. Uh, Pre-market AMC, 274 million of volume. This is something incredible. Never saw something like this. I traded futures, I traded options, I traded Italian market, I traded DAX, FTSE, whatever. But this market was simply crazy. It's simply crazy. So uh, why all this volume? First of all, a lot of new accounts. Second, uh, much manipulation. Jimmy, you have to know what you're buying, okay? So uh, we had some setups for the long. Uh, I'm not looking yet to short. Uh, I tried this morning to buy some puts over here, expiration 21st and 12th uh, February. Um, and I was looking for uh, buying 120 uh, strike because they were the most uh, uh, liquid. But I couldn't get a fill. The same other members who I trade with. 
So you have to know where you're trading. So you know that this is, is not the price of Jimmy. All this is because this stock has a huge amount of short percentage of flow. Okay, so it means that uh, I think like 80, 90 percent of the float is short on this stock. That's the reason why these big squeezes, these big moves. If we were looking over here yesterday, uh, everybody thought this was going to die, and it came over here 80. And then we started having this big accumulation. You can see it even better on a, on a five minute chart. And at this time, over here, this, uh, this breakout led to a big volume burst over here. And then you can see all to the upside. This morning came to the 370, then 385. And now it's simply consolidating above this uh, line over here, 260. So my goal over here is to buy puts. Okay, so I will wait another spike, 330, 340, 350 to buy different strike puts. 100, 150, uh, 50, and 20. Um, AMC, again, volume in pre-market was crazy. Generally, in pre-market, we have bars on one-minute chart, all right, of uh, 100K, uh, 200K, even 400K. Here, we had bars of 4 million in pre-market, 4 or 5 million. Never saw this. Uh, simply crazy. So right now you can see both stocks are consolidating on this uh, EMA. You see this five minutes analysis and it works super. So basically, if I have a book map, I look too long over here, I look too long over here, I look too long over here, and I look too long over here. You have to know that we had so many alts this morning, alt downs, alt, alt, alt ups. So it can go both ways, okay? The worst thing is to be stuck in a high liquid, high volatile uh, stock during a halt, okay? Especially if it goes against you. So right now we are rejecting over here. So this morning we started fading from this area into the 350. Now let me get book map over here. Okay. So let's see, loads. I think I have two things up over here at the same time. Yeah, that's block for now. Let's see. Let's see to reopen book map. <clears throat> so let's look over here also in MC while book map is um, uploading. Okay. Okay, some curl over here on AMC. Some curl over here on Jimmy. Some big resistance, 160 and 50 over here. They remove liquidity. Okay, 
So finish to load. Okay, we can start looking for the tricks. So first thing, Jimmy, my goal is to short, okay? I wanna shorten into this area. Start short inputs, not uh, Friday expiration, okay? I wanna see February. So looking for at least two or three weeks from now. And I'm looking for out of the money puts, okay? Uh, for the fact that this move is not because we have uh, 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 we had bigger earnings profits from the company. This is due to short float and short squeezes of early short sellers. So that's the point that I'm looking, Jimmy, to be around 80, 100. Okay, not absolutely 350 or, or 380. So up here will be a very good level to uh, short. MC over here, uh, breaking the 16 consolidation. So find support and all morning we scalp over here, AMC and Jimmy, buying dips, selling pops, buying dips, selling pops. Also we had EXPR. The XPR made a first curl over here. We had Yon scurling down. We had MSFT, so we had first a fail, and then all the way up. MSFT over here is curling. Let's see also the book. So some big resistance over here at the 240, you can see traders. AMC curling over here. Risky in 20 cents. They're soaking big at 16.50. Buying more. Taking some profit into the ask. Holding the remaining position. All morning we did like this. We started looking for both flags, watching for this. Basically, the majority was in pre-market. So right now we're over there. You can see that 17 MC has some resistance. Okay. So I want to see a removal of that resistance, traders. And the same thing, MSFT, too long. You see it? So pretty good over here. Soaking big 1670. So when I say soaking means that somebody was sorting on the ask. That's the reason why taking more profit. So beautiful MFST and AMC curl up. <clears throat> Max risk break even over here. Okay, flatten out. We have to wait for another burst in volume because this is a big resistance, 17. Let's go back, Jimmy. Okay, Jimmy over here. Let's see if we have some resistance.
Okay, possible breakdown. Javier? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Started taking a short on GME over here. Risk will be this area, 282. So looking for this unwind. Uh, I see only sellers on the tape. I was looking at this this morning. So some laterality over here. This is only a scalp, okay? It's not a trade I want to hold from now till February. But I like this pattern formation, J lines over here. So I need a curl. Right now they put some support into the 276. So we'll see. Seventeen also over here. Let's watch. Short over here on the rejection, risking 17. Gonna scale in more. So I like to use book maps in this way. If this will start shipping at 17, I'm going to get out. Let's see the first rejection, 350, 35. Out. Out because they will probably pop. So waiting over here. So this was a good attempt short in traders. We had a big resistance. The volume is too strong, so I'm not going to fight it. Okay, over here we came up, so we shorted, looking for the breakdown, breakdown then and come. So we are just near that resistance at 285. That would be the max risk. So when you're trading a stock of um, $200, always look for um, 10 bucks in 10 bucks. So 280, 270, 260, 250. Those are the resistance that uh, basically over here it, it pushed, give it a little bit too wiggle room. That's the uh, the level on the tape that I'm looking at. Okay, so we have this, um, let's say, big wedge over here. So these are the levels 260, 270, 280, 290, and you can see each dollar number we have uh, resistance liquidity. So big volume over here, 525 million on AMC today. <laughs> Simply crazy. Uh, in the room this morning. Uh, five traders above five figures so we did pretty good on gme mc xpr and i think today we'll see some six figures as well with this market it is not hard to to make a big pnl when you take the trend 
just look when you trade a squeeze over here this cup at 255 we went 379 okay so uh, looking for a curl up over here we have some liquidity 286 I want to see the break of 290 holding that support you see over here we start to have a curl right a first curl so watching for this level Uh, Joseph, a few questions here. Uh, George is asking um, that, uh, yeah, sometimes you, you mentioned uh, you, you trade uh, in scalp futures, uh, mm -hmm. but mostly trading stocks. Uh, what's the reasoning or preference for stocks over futures? Uh, maybe stocks are more interesting because you have news, you have gaps, uh, you have, uh, you talk about the company, you talk about the press release. Uh, you have a lot of pump and dumps, you have a lot of fluff news to shore, sell the new scenario. Um, futures instead are more, let's say, structured. They have uh, a different uh, price action. And uh, both are, are good to trade. In this market, uh, we've been having a lot of setups, one and the other one. So uh, even this morning on ES, we had some uh, rejection that will curl up. So I would say both are good to trade. Uh, if I would have to choose, only because right now I'm a little bit more in the stocks, I would choose stocks, small caps and big caps, and definitely options, because I like to trade them. I uh, just want to show this, okay? So this was ES this morning. So our setup gave us short, exactly over here, 620, exactly over here, where you see these errors, 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 all this so also at the blue line okay so i move over here 50 points then over here nothing because we're not yet the blue over here a first stop but all this is the trend we had uh let me see over here we remove a liquidity 290 possible break anticipating that breakout buying over here more and buying over here more i think we can have a big push the risk would be 36. And the XPR at the same time, traders, this over here. This is the long we had in the morning, 660. Okay. 660. Selling something 295 only take profit. Okay, 297. So we want to see above 300. It's a big catalyst, 300. So we'll sell something before the 300. Always sell on the strength, okay? Never sell traders on the weakness. Okay, we sold a little bit more. So we bought day lines curl, perfect. Okay, and this is what my traders are doing. Five figures today. Okay, this is how you trade. Trading these setups over here. Curl up one minute day lines. And beautiful. So now we have to wait because it's gonna break 300. So I'm just gonna show you over here. This is a cut pattern. This is the J lines. This is the volume. Okay. So, how to trade it? So, 310 over here. Now we use 310 as a support to sell. Okay, traders, you see it? 315, let's see. 315, 315. 17 there's still buying over here they're still by the sure sure squeezing okay boom we'll go 320. if we lose 310 i'm out another portion just 
curling no out a little bit more so before we had that and then we started to sell up here up here up here now still going Okay, so right now inside bar, uh, EXPR traders, we missed it. Uh, sorry, but this we started at 1020, you know, the curl, A plus setup over here. So let's see, I'm gonna take off more 310. Okay, taking more, taking more over here. And now just holding small. Give me another bounce. Added more. So I'm just scalping my way up with these bounces. You can bounce good from that 303. Below 300, it will stop out. My average is 304 right now. I need to see some big bids. Right now, I see nothing. 305, they removed. Okay, we can push more. Beautiful. So selling something over here into the ask. Okay, right now risking break even. Okay, so I add on the dip, sold over here on the pop, average 305. And I think we can see again 315. Okay, traders, boom. Let's go for 315. Uh, prop in over here. I start looking on the right if I see times in sales green. Okay, so 305 is some cushion. 310 would be better. Okay, 310. 315. Okay, pushing more, right? So selling into it here in the ask, getting filled. Boom, another one. So pretty good how to scalp over here with an anime. And now risking practical break even. When you see those spikes down, means that we have sellers. So I prefer to take a little bit more profit. Yes, 310 filled. Now flat over here, okay? So we took the first top over here with small size. Then for the A plus setup, we simply put more size. And you wanna see 320, 325 and possibly break out. Okay, done. I sold everything forever. But basically, this is the play that you have to look at. So you see the J lines over here, over here. So you see this, the first one, and this over here, the second one okay is it clear traders how to trade this this is basically what we do all morning in the room some position will be like you know buy um and hold some position like this are for scalping but i believe that we can push even above 325 over here the xpr some selling Some selling. Hold down. Yeah. AMC over here. Nothing. Uh, we were looking at um, 
Yohan as well. Okay, Yohan is trying. You see it? This is interesting because still didn't didn't uh, unwind it. Okay. This is simply amazing. Break out of the pennant and boom, our long over here. Too bad we sold early. Okay. Too bad we sold early. Uh, Joseph, your uh, J lines, um, do they also work uh, kind of uh, pre market, extended Absolutely hours? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, okay. yes. Uh, pre market, we, I, I just want to show you something, uh, Bruce, two seconds. So, pre market, we basically trade only long. And over here was each time long, buying the dip, selling the ask, buying the dip, selling the ask. Uh, over here, uh, again, with the uh, daily scroll up. So basically, the point for me is never buy the breakout. Why now I didn't enter over here? Because I cannot buy the breakouts, okay? I always wait for the dips dips or the J lines, or in this case, 9MA over here, you see I over reclaim as we, I was waiting for this dip. Uh, each time we buy on the ask, oh, sorry, on the breakout, you have a, um, I would say, wide risk, okay? Each time you buy on the dip, you have a lower risk. Uh, traders, costs, another miss, and this was another curl up with a one minute jailance. You see it over here, boom. Okay, this is how to kill it, really, all morning kill it. This is a setup, so you see the big consolidation over here, and then you see the long setup over here. Okay, so this is the long, exactly when you break, and then over here you see the volume, all right? Okay, so let's watch over here for costs. I'm gonna put it on bookmap as well. And a lot of examples over here. This market, I still didn't trigger short today, being that I like also short besides over here. But uh, um, this market is only too long, okay? Don't short it until you don't have like a, a big bull trap or a parabolic move. Uh, different position for me on Jimmy because I want to buy, I would say, uh, weekly and monthly puts. Look over here, I was soaking the 240 traders over here. They're trying to soak it. Small scalps uh, short, risking 240 and 30. We took a feeler over here on MS50. You can see it. Think we can have some uh, fail. So let's put also MS50 over here. So what we have in over here, we have this resistance. So it's, it broke, now it's holding over here, but we have a very tight stop, so risking like 200 bucks on this, okay? Almost time to exit, see only green, exit, boom, stop, okay? So we'll probably push over here more, doesn't matter. Tight cuts. Uh, Joseph, do you maybe uh, can you, can you define that a little bit? I mean, I'm seeing like um, a, a couple of different ways. I mean, a, di a big distinction here um, with scalping and um, kind of trend trading or momentum trading. Yes. So when I'm trading uh, the setups, everything has to be uh, specified. Uh, ha everything has to fit my parameters. So everything is from a playbook. When I say longs over here on Jimmy, when I say longs over here on costs, these are not scalp, these are, is my playbook to day trade. Then 
we can scalp it along the way to maximize the profit like recycling but otherwise many of the traders buy over here sell then on the dip they can rebuy more and then sell same over here buy sell on the push and then trailing the rest okay so uh scalping is something let's say i do it only for a limited time frame so like maybe 30 minutes one hour in a day uh just to recycle some shears especially if i take uh, uh borrow short i want to reuse them uh but otherwise i prefer uh more position trading so um longing into this dip selling into the pops and vice versa over here traders once we uh cleared i missed my i missed the long entry uh was over here looking for this uptrending triangle this micro cup removal of liquidity so i wanted to step in over here for a scalp long but uh nothing for now i would say to go back on jimmy uh really my error over here uh hot key error to to exit that early at 320 really no reason to exit 320 I mean, I just, there is a limitation here with this trading room uh, with us, and it, there's it's a specific time frame, uh, and you are trading within that time frame. So, yeah, uh, but I would say today we're lucky because we have a lot of big, big opportunities, uh, Bruce. Yeah, I mean, the, the bigger opportunities are in, in line also with the smaller ones today. And uh, I'm, I'm just, you, you, it's a, it's a harder job when you um, are in this room to trade the time frame, uh, that the smaller time frame here. Uh, but yeah. uh, today, today you have it nicely lined up, um, and yeah, you know, five figures, un unbelievable. Like over here, traders, GME. 350 this is a big liquidity okay i don't suggest you really to short something like here jimmy don't do it don't do it all morning i'm saying traders don't short but when you scalp it it's a different uh, uh different situation so you scalp over here short you cover it down over here a big partial and then the stop to break even okay so when you put the stop right away to break even it's stress-free now probably this will uh, hold 341 and push so we can probably look to buy some dips a feeler let's see 341 340 i want to see some bids forming okay bought over here bought more so Think we can see 350 breakout and again we took another one you see it longed again at 342 and we'll have 350 breakout they're refilling over here so they're putting more on the ask but we have a lot of buying power okay you see how it sees over here i waited at 340 to give me the support and then i put over here right away about i couldn't get the ad uh, unfortunately 343 i didn't get filled and now I'm looking for this curl up in the 350, right? So another another easy, I would say, eight points move would stop to break even. 342, holding over here, 342. Okay, got out. So I didn't risk anything. It's okay if we didn't take profit, okay? But that was the correct thing to do. Bought over here, didn't sell over here in the soak. I still believe we can have more three. 45 350 over here breakout if i see some support we'll get in cost is still going up 30 incredible okay let's sell something to the push So something over here into the push. So we got that breakout. Beautiful. Okay. And again, we can sell a little bit more over here. Boom. Okay. 
So each time I have the support over here, the 9MA, 9MA, I look for dips too long, okay? Using bookmap, very easy to do it. Just follow the main trend, okay? Sell a little bit more. And our entry, I tell you traders, was at 355, now it's 374, okay? We'll go 400. Boom, 377. And this is really stupid small position. Uh, but, and sellers over here, careful. So we can flatten. And then see if we can have another. Another trade. So don't short traders, trust me, don't short Jimmy, okay? I still want you to see it. I want to see around in 10 years from now. Last year, so this is me being honest, I was trading, I test often a few indicators, a few strategies. You see over here, for example, these errors, okay? So I was testing this on a small account. Basically blew up because it still was not ready. I tried things on live account small account you know a couple k something like that just to see how it performs your market just simply two weeks blew up so my point is be very very precise in trading uh, when you're testing something if you have a big account don't ever do it okay so i trade multiple uh accounts i may trade a very small account when i'm testing strategy or another pattern don't ever do something like over here you're asking about j lines don't ever trade j lines if you don't know the rules if you don't know how to trade them because you need practice okay you cannot simply jump in something because it's working for me or it's working for bruce or for somebody else you have to test it yourself journal journal it uh back test it okay and then see the results like bruce said for example i can uh scalp pretty decently i would think uh, and I can trade much better when I day trade for, I would say one, two, three, four, five hours position. Everybody's different. I have friends that cannot do that in two minutes. They have to be out of the trade. Okay. So it depends also from your personality. So my point is to be always honest with yourself. So you cannot trade everything. Your style cannot be all the styles. You have to make money. So it really doesn't matter if you swing or if you trade like 15 times in a in an hour, all right? Over here is making another ascending triangle. Careful because we can see even a soak over here and a possible fail, okay? I cannot short something like this. I cannot simply short because in two seconds you can go 390, all right? I mean, Bruce, look this stock cost 10 bucks was and now it's 30. <laughs> Just it, short squeeze manipulation. They are simply incredible, my friend. Unbelievable. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> and look at the volume AMC traded today. Bruce, look, 600 million. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't believe that. I mean, it, it, you you started off the webinar and uh, you've never seen anything quite like this and i mean you know you you've been trading I, I never saw 20, 20 I years saw mama mia <laughs> yeah yeah incredible okay so over here traders you see we are looking for a possible soak what if it would be another stock okay this 376 is nice to trade with this risk and as soon as they topped over here they put a little bit more resistance you see it more a bigger heat map and then they dumped it so that's the i would say the main area okay this one so we had a bigger heat map you see over here and then they started to break the trend line reject it and then dump you see it over here, rejection. This is rejection. 
And often when you see this uptrend, you'll see those rejections. But having said this, this is not absolutely something to short, okay? Prefer to buy dip longs, that's it. So let's see if we can have another cup of trades. Missed this big dip over here, my fault. Trying to explain things, but it's hard to explain also when you have to trade. Okay, another curl possible over here. Holding 368, 365. Rejecting this level. Buying over here, risking 360. We can have another push over here, traders. Okay. Let it curl. Ready to cut it. Ready to cut it over here. 360, out, out. So you see over here, super fast. A little bit bad feel and didn't take it. Probably still trying to use this 9MA. So we'll trade always small over here and looking for bids. Okay, retrade over here. Risk again 360. You want to see a break of 370 and new highs. So a lot of sellers, you see the 364 and the times and sales. I want to see high liquidity green. Okay, above the 366, 370. We want to see the clear out of the 370. Now risk and break even. 370 is still refilling the ask. You see over here, we have a big seller 370. Okay, it might be done. 370. And you see over here, traders, they're trying to push the 370. Okay, liquidity gone, boom. Now we're waiting for 380 before taking any profit, okay? Let's wait for 380. Or break even in the money 366 or 380 first sell where we have those previous spikes. But look over here, this is what I don't like to see. All these is red. I want to see green, okay? So green fuels my long. And I filtered this 1999. Okay, 375 breakout coming. You see how holding that bid 374? Beautiful, boom, pop. Selling to the strength over here. Actually, we can cancel it. Went a little bit higher. 375, they're holding. Possible curl, boom. Selling on into over here. Ask. Okay, fail three. Okay, so we just got back the loss. And now we're risking the 370 in the money. But right now we're forming another curl up over here. And I believe we can even go parabolic. Okay. So watch for parabolic move. Big soak at 380. Look over here, Bruce. Some big liquidity stack at 380. 17,000. The point is that refilling. I think we can go 400 plus, but we'll see. Price action talks. <clears throat> yeah, I mean these guys are staying in the book and they're they're absorbing and getting filled, but then it just trades right through them. Uh, and it's unbelievable. A stock like this, I read all the filings and everything that it price is 380. I said only manipulation, big job, and also traders, I would say huge amount of uh, uh, short float. You see over here, so we stop in the money, 
before this crack to the downside. Okay, so we were at 365, we stopped 366. So this big wash over here, I should have bought, but you have to be super quick. You can buy the dip support near 350. Look over here. This is a huge one, huge one 350. Huge one 350. I think, uh, Bruce, we don't need anything else this morning besides Jimmy. I think this is the stock to follow over here. Yeah, no no question. Um, great, great stuff, Joseph. Thank you, Bruce. Basically, it's uh, one of those stocks that reminds me a little bit of Elfin. Uh, remember, traders, uh, when we had... Uh, the big push, I think, till what, 70 something, and it was worth nothing. Okay, Jimmy is a little bit different from that, but the, the, the impact of the short percent of float and the manipulation, the volume, flow rotation, everything, so gave us that huge amount of squeeze, Elfin, I think, well, was from 8, 10 bucks till 70, 76, something like that. Cost is still curling over here. Incredible and big, big. I was trading this morning. Cost Bruce at 19 over here, buying this long over here on this cup pattern, selling over here. Then over here, look what it did. Look what a cup pattern. This is this is like playbook. Yeah, beautiful. What a what a crazy day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's really incredible. I mean, generally, use you know, this morning I was looking at SPCE Tesla. I took a look like before the open and in pre-market and MSFT. But I mean, when you have stocks like this, I mean, cost from ten bucks to thirty <laughs> or AMC. That's that's the only thing you have to trade. Okay, possible another long coming over here. Let's see if we form some support. Always small this time. When I see on 365, 368, you see under over that 9 MA. Okay, so I'm looking for that. Still not ready. Without the support, and support is not only for me watching for a heat map, okay? Support is also looking for bids that are filling over here. So let's see if they can hold that support. Okay, bought something. Risking 365. Wait, I stop. Stopped over here. So it didn't work. Still was a good setup because if we look at this pattern, we're going for a possible breakout. Okay, looking for that 360, my last long over here. When I see a push above 370. Okay, needs to find a support right now. We don't have any support over here. Let's see, 370 push.
careful below support, micro support 363. 10K seller over there. Right now below the 90 MA. Okay, 368. We want to see 370. Feel something 369. Now risking break even. Out the rest break even. And I'm looking over here to this other formation. So we have this uptrend. You see it? And we have an ascending triangle over here. So let's see if we can break this 370 to enter long. For now, nothing. Trend line break. So this is also the volume. You see over here, the volume is falling. And then over here, you have the breakdown and now possible unwind. Over here, 46 million volume for a $350 stock. Not bad volume for today. Yeah, great trading, Joseph. Love love the way you reduce the risk. Yeah, it's time I'm in the money. I move my stop ideally to break even. Watching over here for a dip to buy on a 350. But I don't see still that support that really tells me, okay, I have a tight risk. So I need to wait. I like the dip. I like the dip over here, 350 important level. Uh, Joseph, do you want to maybe talk like in a strong market like this, talk about maybe the differences between, um, you know, counter trend trading versus trend trading for scalping? Yes. So basically, when you scalp traders, uh, I give you a good, uh, I give you over here a good example. So let's look together. So scalping counter trend can be, uh, Lethal for you, because basically this is was AIKI. I'm talking about this because yesterday I, I uh, looked along over here 150. If you scalp it, counter trend means that each of these extensions you can start scaling in and then covering to the bid, scaling and covering the bid. But if you have a small account or even if you have a big one, you never know if this can go parabolic and squeeze you, and you can never like cover into the dips. So for me, is never to short when you have a strong uptrend, when you're above over here, the J-line is going up. But always look, for example, to buy the dips, like over here, all right, near the 9MA when it re reclaims, over here, over here, and then uh, scale out on, uh, on, the, on the extensions. When you have instead backside, it's different. So when you have backside, then yes, you can scale in uh, short, uh, looking to scale in because you're still going down, scale in because it's still going down, and then covering to the dips. So it's like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Or you simply buy a late A fade, short a late A fade, sorry. Over here you have curl down, a line rejection, and you take the uh, whole on wine. So what about like when it when it hits your your purple J line there, um, then are you getting your your decision based on the order flow and book map? Absolutely yes. 
this line over here, Bruce, look one second. This morning with Bookmark was sick, simply sick. Look over here. I will show you four stocks. You see over here, buddy, at seven? Yeah. MC, boom, bounce. You see over here again, boom, bounce. Each time I saw a fake breakdown of Bookmap, reclaim, boom, you get it long. And then we had the same exact thing uh, on other stocks. So this was EXPR. You see the dip over here? Bottom tick. The same time I go to check Bookmap has a main support, a main, um, I would say, absorption level, I take the long. Okay, so this is the use that I that I that I do of the, the levels I have in my chart. Fantastic. This level over here, traders, simply bottom dip. Okay, so this is the long plus book map. Okay, so uh, let's go back to Jimmy. I really can't really wait that this will simply dump Bruce. I mean, unfortunately, we had a lot of traders, uh, I believe not in my room because nobody was sure, but I believe in general that had margin calls. Traders who saw yesterday price 80, they shorted, then reclaimed 100, then went 200, 300, 350, 380. So I think this was a mass murder. And I'm sorry when traders lose because basically nobody has to lose money in, in trading. has a big rejection over here. Wanna put over here EXPR. Bruce, because this is, I would say, very interesting stock. B50 as well. So hold down our XPR. We have to wait. spike over here let's see if we have a dip at 350 and then we can buy again gme 350 don't tell me i missed it we'll be pretty upset with it so i was looking 350 support to buy on the breakout and retest of that support cannot break uh push over here 360 that will give me like 10 bucks risk so simply i can't Open over here of EXPR. EXPR halted again.
And you can see Trader that his time, even the XPR went below the 90 May reclaim, pushed, reclaim, push, reclaim, push. Each time did the same exact thing. Okay, so look at what you had over here, 360. These big spikes. We had some liquidity stacked, and then right away, fake breakout. So support 350, spikes 360. So sellers over here, buyers over here. Lateral, waiting, okay? No A plus setup, simply sidelines. Still 50 support. We're waiting over here that EXPR opens. They're stacking 357. Got the small long over here. I think we have another push above 365. Three fifty eight stacking bid. Possible push three fifty nine plus three sixty chopping. Okay, chipping, sorry, chipping, boom, up. Okay, three sixty five coming. Okay, another one. So let's look over here. Selling something to ask now stop maximum break even. You see that we have seller traders at that support, at that the resistance level 364, 365, okay? We can cancel this. I wanna see 380 right now, okay? 380. Three sixty five. So again, over here, possible breakout, boom. Let's see a push, okay? Okay, 365 went. Breakout over here. So pretty good to read this stuff with bookmap, taking some profit at 369. And it's not very hard to trade this stuff when you have the pattern looking for the break. Okay, traders.
fantastic trading, Joseph. Thank you very much, Bruce. So we still rejected 375. By the way, EXPR, don't short it, please, all right? 13, maybe a scalp, but not really for, <laughs> for I would say, position traders. <laughs> Boom, 13 went. Look, XPR, crazy. Okay, 375 possible curl coming. I think if we break 374, we may add a little bit. Hmm. Right inside bar. Waiting the dip. Some support. 366, very tight. Three seventy. Okay, they cannot break three seventy. Possible three sixty four. I will use all trailing stop because they couldn't break the three seventy. You see it? They're trying to hold it, but we have some sellers over here. Even their retail sellers. Okay, now three sixty five. Okay, flat and boom out. Because basically, I saw cannot break this 375, cannot break this 370. So, reason to get out, correct, traders? Great trade management. Uh, this is just um, invaluable. Uh, guys, like, watch, watch and learn from the expert here. Thank you very much. So I was watching over here, BBY, we had another breakout, J lines curl up, amazing, amazing, amazing. So a lot of opportunities in this market. So you can see over here, all right? You see the reclaim first of the J lines and then a second reclaim over here, first and second, and look at the volume over here increasing. And trader participate during the day also in uh, a bookmap discord room okay often i put over here i open i put over there charts uh for uh to study okay curling up over here careful on uh, exactly on this the XPR cannot break that high nice stall over here Wow, this heat map was beautiful over here, Bruce. Look, this 14 on EXPR. Just need to short there. Yeah. <laughs> there. I yeah. don't think that this is trading for dummies, really. Because it's very simple to trade something like that, risking like 10 cents and take a, a one buck wash over here. That's that's your day, that's your PL. 2,000, 3,000 shares, you're done.
Uh, guys, uh, someone asked about the new Discord chat room. Um, Joseph has been um, uh, very active in there, so uh, follow him in there. Uh, I put the link in the chat. All right. So uh, we'll have a new link, actually. It'll be bookmap.com slash Discord or something. But right now, use this link. Okay. Uh, David Blake is calling you the Jedi Master here. <laughs> Just explaining what I know, but thank you. But look, once we have this trend on GME, don't fight it. No reason to go short on something like this with this volume. So look only for dips, especially when we reclaim this 90 May, this uh, um, over here. Sorry, this over here, the pink one, okay? Under over, under over. You can see we can under over, under over. So now a possible breakout coming again. Boom. So the risk would be 365 less trade. Looking for 400. That's the reason of the trade. So you see under over. Okay, breakout coming. Careful, Jimmy. Possible breakout coming. Yeah, we'll dare buddies. 375, say bye bye. Sellers cannot push this down. Boom, 380 coming. Created, that's it. Okay. So sell partial over here in the bid, take profit. 378, now rest break even. When I see now push to 400, if 380, okay, out everything over here, out everything. A little bit of slippage. Yeah. Okay, done. XPR still halted. So let's look. Last thing over here on the daily. When I get scared a little bit. Okay. So this is our stock. <laughs> so the point is down here, we had the big uh use amount of buyers squeezed so i'm not really uh looking to short as i said scalping for intraday but starting to take a put position with strike between 80 50 and 100 average can be a good one 
Okay, so that's that's my idea, what I'm looking for. Guys, I, I put Joseph's contact information in the chat. So if you want to reach out to Joseph directly. Another dip over here in the 360. Holding 360 over here, trader, you can see some, I will say, decent book map. So they're still trying over here to dip to push it. Careful on the XPR, okay? This seems like inviting you to take short, but it's still a strong uptrend. I think over here we missed the long into the 13 on the XPR. Perfect reclaim of the, the 90 main. And now there is better over here, like we added with only the one set of charts there yeah. and not double. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Curling back up, Jimmy. So amazing how these supports work good. I mean, if you want to trade these, you want to scalp them, red tight risk, all of these are good. Surely you have to be pretty quick. Fast reversal on uh, the XPR. Yeah, just, just a, a note here. I mean, take a look at the candlestick chart and then take a look at book map and look at these areas where the liquidity is. This is the insight you're going to get, right? Or you can use and understand mm -hmm. understand absorption, breakdowns, breakouts, the volume, et cetera, within that structure and, uh, and that liquidity. I'm going right. to post this in, uh, in book map Discord room. Thanks, Joseph. So those are the levels. Very, very uh, 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 good at uh, handling all the social media stuff. Uh, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> I try my best, but uh, <laughs> try my best. Thank you. And the XPR pushing again. So watching this, I would say 14, 14 bucks. Let's try to take some short if you have bars. Personally, no, not looking to take these trades at all for now. At all. Okay. So staying away from shorting and I like to short.
careful reclaiming GME, the 9MA. When we have these levels over here, as I said before, we are watching 350, 360, 370, 380. To read the tape, you need those, uh, I would say, $10 in $10 on the big caps. Guys, uh, Joseph has been going for about an hour and a half now, um, but uh, we're extending this webinar because on days like today, this is when you can make a bundle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so look over here together with me. So we have a, a strong trend. When I'm looking for a reversal, okay, and I repeat, I'm not looking to short this, but I'm going to explain you. Uh, let's say you have an intraday stock that is performing like this, okay? Uh, one heat map over here, 14. Second one at 13.50, sorry, another one at 13. So lower highs is like a stair step down. Then what I start looking, I start looking for a possible uh, reversal, but you don't know if it's a reversal or not. First will be a pullback. So I start looking for trend lines, it's only down here trend, line, not really a great trend line. And then I start looking for break of supports, and then also start looking for volume divergence. Over here, I don't see any kind of, yeah, I don't see any kind of volume divergence, a little bit over here. So this is higher highs, this is uh, lower highs down here, okay? Let's put the same stock on a five minute chart. And we have even over here a volume divergence. Okay. So when I'm not like sure of what a stock is going to do, I'm looking, okay, what's doing over here the trend? We have like a flag, all right, a pendant. So it's going to take a direction sooner or later. Up or down, we don't know. Often what they do, they push one side, they trap longs, and then boom, they flush, vice versa, okay? So the best thing for me is to wait that we have a clear setup. Once we have the clear setup, we can trade it. Again, I don't suggest you to short this, all right? I have to tell you that. I don't suggest you to trade short. So Bruce, another crazy one this morning. And okay, from five bucks to 100 calls, they're telling me right now we're up at 400%. What's going on? <laughs> That's just insane. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, Amo is... Uh... Uh, asking about that as well, looking at uh, uh, Nokia. Uh, let's let's look together one second. Let's look together over here. Uh, I have my Benzinga. And I filter over here for afternoon poppers. So another time we can talk about it over here in Nokia. So we had uh, we had the news over here. Okay, I have to do like this. Sorry, traders. I think. Uh, this is a little bit too big. Okay, halted, halted, halted. Blah 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 blah. Circuit breaker. Uh, Nokia alert. Sweep options. Blah 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 blah. blah. Zinga. It started with unusual option activity. Earnings, let's see if they had earnings. 2-4, no, so we still have some days. Uh, let's see over here, traders, because this is what is giving us this, 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 so only uh, optional activity alert. 
I'm asking if there are any news on Nokia over here. Oh, beautiful rejection. Again, Bruce didn't trade this, not going to trade this, whatever. EXPR rejection from heat map. That's all you need to do. This is what I trade generally at the open when I have pop-in fails. Exactly. I mean, these are such clean and clear examples of understanding liquidity and and price structure, and uh, if the buyers are willing to take that on and trade through it or not. Yeah, exactly. I prefer to see a rejection. When I see a double rejection, I like my chops. Yeah, just just beautiful. I mean, just picture perfect stuff. Then I break down over here and then halt it. So I, I cannot see any other news on, on Nokia. I believe I believe that everything started from this big Jimmy thing. And everything is going crazy. Yeah, it's just triggering all sorts of other other stuff, it looks like. Yeah. The first 10 minutes I couldn't trade. Uh, brokers were not going, uh, more than one. Uh, wow. Lag on uh, uh, on on news and data. Uh, halt like every two minutes something was halting. Jimmy, AMC, XPR, COS was crazy. So I said first 10, 15 minutes, even 20 minutes, not doing anything. Want to see first the direction. Jimmy started to uptrend, the XPR started to uptrend, then okay, we can trade it. If we are like, you know, up and down, up and down, lateral, I'm not trading sidelines, never. Uh, Joseph, uh, just kind of thinking out loud here with, with everyone online, um, but uh, I mean, this is such good content um, and so important uh, to understand and understand the players involved here and, and these big days and, and, and what to look for. Uh, Perhaps like uh, you'd be interested in doing a, uh, uh, a webinar just based on this, uh, on this day, uh, what to look for, how you're, you know, trading it. I mean, these these brokers are not even offering uh, services for, for a while, um, et cetera. Uh, so okay. uh, just 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 a, just a thought. I'm uh, throwing it out there uh, and uh, I'll leave it at that. OK. OK, Bruce. Uh, Bruce, another thing. Uh, very proud of my wife. <laughs> this is how she trades. Uh, <laughs> long. Uh, she loves bookmap, and I got also bookmap for her. So she's practicing on uh, my accounts, but uh, she, she she loves to trade uh, long. And you know what she does? Very simple. You have an uptrend with the J lines. Okay, J lines is seven twenty nine. You have the nine MA. Okay, this uh, green one over here. Each time she has this dip, she buys, she sells, she buys, she sells, she buys, she sells. So strong uptrend, high volume necessarily. You cannot trade a gap and crap stock like I don't know, like uh, uh, what what we had like a couple of days ago, like uh, APM or OBLN, something that was coming down or CNET, you need a strong stock like this, like JME or like EXPR this morning. And then you can trade like, like in that way. Very, very good. Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, you guys are gonna be the uh, kind of uh, new uh, um, rulers of uh, San Marino. <laughs> well, I will be in Denver. Hope to meet some traders over here. We'll be in Denver. My wife is from there from the 16th of May till the, uh, let's say 10th of June, maybe even later. So I think I will be doing um, a live trading session, maybe one of two days. I would like to program with you, Bruce, and Bookmap together, if it's possible, if COVID permits, you know, how things are. But uh, I want to make like um, a day or two day like stage webinar, live trading together and uh, looking basically for for patterns uh, with bookmap. Uh, that 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 would be a, just a great event. Uh, would would love to do it, Joseph.
Great idea. Yeah, I will keep you informed. Depends even for the COVID, you know, if we can get all together. Yeah. I already have the place. I think it's a friend's place in Aspen. So it could be wow. even a good location. Wow. Yeah, sounds great. Sounds great. Yeah, and, and Sereno is uh, calling you Bonnie and Clyde, which uh, is the, uh, uh, you know, kind of infamous uh, uh, gangsters. So um, there you go, you and your wife. Um, and uh, let's see, uh, Bogdan was asking about, um, well, he was just saying here, uh, maybe uh, MIK is maybe the next unusual options activity at Melvin Capital Short as well. So uh, okay. a couple of okay. our other ideas he's floating out there for, for everybody. So a little bit lateral right now, traders. We have to wait a little bit. Some big support over here, 340. Still uptrend, so I'm still looking to, to grab a little bit of longs. Remember, we are launch time, so I'm only afraid for that. We're the first break, 355. Not going to take a trigger to pull the trigger until 1, 1 30 p.m. Generally, this is my, I would say, waiting time. I'm not looking to, to trade because I need to trade, okay? MSD, let's see, AMC, oh, AMC, wow. AMC, wow, what a huge amount of sellers over here in the 16. All right, so we bounce again. You see Bruce over here from the five minute day lines. We bounced. Yeah, perfect. Just, uh, just want to reiterate. I mean, we've we've talked about it many times before, but I, I just want to reiterate here. Joseph's he's this is the way he trades he's got his J lines uh, he look it, he looks for the bigger picture uh, he's also got some fundamentals etc then he looks at book map and he looks for the order flow to support these ideas uh, and and to trigger uh, the entries and exits and manage it very very carefully and, and closely because you can with the with the order flow um, the the key though is he went back I mean he makes it look so easy here I, I I've always believed this um, very clean, very clear, very easy. Uh, but he has studied this in detail for a long time. And he knows that he has an edge here using his, this, his uh, strategies. That's the distinction. Shadowing him and just following him through, you know, oh, I'm going to trade and short the J lines or whatever is, is, is you know, you, you might have mixed results. And then you're going to say, well, you know what? It doesn't work. Uh, and then you're going to move on to the next thing instead of going back and studying it, understanding it, um, making it your own, uh, you know that you have an advantage. Uh, and then now, now you're gonna see your profit and loss change. Exactly. I totally agree with Bruce. Uh, the point is that, um, let me see one thing over here, Bruce. <clears throat> Let me see over here. The point is that profit talk. This is in the room today. One trader 9K. Um, another trader taking long 16 to 25. Chad, record day. Um, Kyle I made in two days 8K over here. So this is because the setups work. Over here, J-line rejection, so falling. 
right now. Uh, as I said, I'm not really looking to to short this morning. I'm not today. I'm not looking to, to do that. I want to simply wait. Uh, there will be time to short, not now. Okay, J lines over here. Beautiful and wind, beautiful and wind, beautiful and wind. So halted again over here, EXPR. So I'm not, as I said, looking too short, and I'm going to repeat it. Look over here, AMC. 1570, you have the VWAP and the J-Lens, 1570, 1580. At a certain point over here, we have the, the pop, okay? The big liquidity is 16, just near the J-Lens, the VWAP, okay? Over here, we can do like this. Uh, let's put the, the VWAP, why I don't see it. Size. Oh, sorry, VWAP over here, why I don't see it. Let's put it red, I never put it red. Session star settings, 19. Oh, that's maybe why. Let's put... Uh, um, zero nine apply maybe for this hmm. i don't know but anyways i don't see the v web okay it's okay anyways uh once we went over here we started to get this big soak you see the big dots over here but what for me is interesting once we pushed against this 1550 and then started to unwind and that 1550 over there, let's do like this. It's a pretty big resistance. See it over here? Pretty big resistance. We started to reject and then we had the unwind. Okay. AMC drop, GME. So everything is dropping the same line, everything. What happened over here? I think I opened today too many resources. Are you there, Joseph? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, it just like uh, went okay. back over here. The let me see book map. So you have a new, new powerful machine, right? Uh, yes, but I overloaded with stuff today, so I have like uh, ah okay. A you, need a new, you, you need a new machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, so let's go back over here. EXPR. Uh, Joseph, whenever you're ready, I mean, this is above and beyond the call, um, but uh, you've been going an hour and 45 minutes. Well, I think we can uh, even call it a day over here because I think we explained a lot of things. What do you think, Bruce? Absolutely. In fact, I'm already getting like requests here to to post uh, this um, uh, uh, recording so as quickly as possible so everyone can go back and watch it and relearn. Okay. Okay. So, uh, everybody, waiting you next week. Thank always, Bruce, for being so kind over here to... Uh, have us. Uh, thank you, Bookmap, again. Have a good weekend. Reach out if you need. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Bruce.
Thank you, Joseph. Have a great day. You too, buddy. Bye.